Okay, I'm allegedly live on this second test hangout. Um, I won't have that much to do to begin with, so if you're watching this, it will be quite boring. I'm just going to flip around, test a few things, check that other people can see it before I start the proper lecture. Okay, I should go to my Google Plus page, which I think is where the link for this will be. Right. I have a link to what I think is the live stream. Yep. I'm listening to my own stream on the big projector. Uh, that won't make sense if you're not here, but I'm in a meeting room using my laptop to broadcast and the machine in here to check things. waiting to test what the latency is. Right, I'll do some talking now, and if I'm very clever, I'll maybe time the latency. All right, I think that was about 30 seconds. I'm going to start talking again at 16.20, which is now. And then I'm going to wait and see when I hear that.
the difference is that this one is only start talking again at 1620, Okay, that was uh, 35 seconds of latency. Right. Uh, someone has just asked me. Someone has just asked me to test uh, actually making stuff move, which of course is a good thing to do at this point. So I'm now going to let me just bring up my clock so I know where I am in real time. Um, okay, so it's twenty one twenty by my watch, and I'm switching. I've gone to Prince of Persia. And I'll play this video so people can judge whether it's coming through okay. So I'm pausing here. I'm listening to the live stream myself. So there might be some uh, kind of, you know, confusing audio echo because of that. But I just want to check that it's sort of working. Um, those of you who are listening, the uh, the Hangout says I've got seven viewers, but I don't have anyone. Um, Sort of listed as a viewer, maybe that's because you're anonymous or something. You're not listed as a participant, and you know I'm fine with that. But <laughs> oh gosh, I'm confusing myself now. Hold on. Bear with me. Right, um, I've tried to add a Q and A tab which means that if you actually join in properly, I think on YouTube there's a link to participate, and I'm guessing that'll take you to the hangout -y thing from which you might be able to type in a question. If someone tries that, it would be useful, because that way I can just ask for uh, feedback or something if I need to check things. Okay, uh, while I'm waiting for someone to maybe ask me a question, I will page through the slides a little bit just to see. Oh, I'll, I'll stop that to see if uh, everything is still working. Blah, blah, blah. So these are the lectures from last week, of course, so we don't want to spoil the surprise for, uh, for today. Yes, I can show that in a minute. So I'm, only, so I'm only broadcasting one window with the slides in it, which hopefully means I can go back to Facebook and see if people are talking to me there. Righty ho.
Uh, someone asked me a question and the interface for that immediately went strange, so I've maybe not done the right thing. Looks as if I have to uh, validate the question or something. Okay. Uh, okay, so I've got options to select questions and things, but I don't seem to be able to do much else with them. Um, so that was me allegedly asking, a, answering a question, and uh, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a terribly good forum, but. If I'm in the middle of doing the lecture and something starts to go wrong, or maybe there's some need for clarity, if that interface is still available, people could use that, and hopefully I would maybe see it. But I want to try and be full spectrum awareness, so I'll have the Facebook tab open as well, and we can maybe use that in emergencies. God knows how I'm going to manage all this. But we'll see. Um, yeah. This is going to be quite difficult. Let me play a bit of Prince of Persia again, or the uh, the original reference video. If you're listening, I've just opened up a chat window that I didn't realize existed. That's maybe better than the questions thing. If someone can talk to me in chat, that would be validating. All right, so I've got a chat window open, and I've allegedly got seven viewers, but no one's talking to me. Now, I know what Google's like these days, and you might have to be signed in on Google Plus or some blooming thing before you can talk. Um, it'd be nice if someone could do it, though. If you can't see the chat window, I see it because there's a little panel on the left it's got a bunch of options, but they're probably only options that I have. But anyway, one of those is chat. Um. I 
And I've just gone to the questions tab. It's mutual exclusive whether I can see questions or chat apparently. And someone has said, test question, does this work? Uh, if I click select, oh, it's, it's order who asked, okay, good for him. Select, I think, is all I can do on a question. Right, okay, so I think that means I've accepted a question and I'm now allegedly answering it in speech. There's no option to type anything in reply. So I'm going to say, yes, it sort of does work, and then I'm going to click done. And, uh, and that was a question. And now if I go back to chat, still not got anyone chatting to me. It's just like a real lecture. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a few more people. That's fine. Um, I should warn you that because this is all just dead air and I'm not seeing anything important, I'm just testing stuff, I think I will, when it comes time to the lecture, I will terminate this one and try to start a new one so that we get a clean recording without all the junk on it. Of course, that just creates the possibility of it failing horribly, but I, I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, but for now, we'll just use this test one as a medium to try and organize things. Da -da -da -da. Um, okay, I'll just do some more paging through here just to check that the stream is still alive. Now you've seen that already. Blah blah, pages, pages. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, let's show Fist of Awesome again, why not? Oh, great. Um, I may just have fucked something up there by changing the screen share settings. Uh, hopefully that's repaired it. Oh, right. Lots of chat questions have suddenly appeared, and I couldn't see them because I was... because you've come in with the QA, but I was maybe thinking that chat's going to work better. Um, <laughs> the question was how to open the chat sidebar. Um, uh, so with me, all I had to do was mouse over to the left of the Hangout window and then a little dynamic menu appeared. But I think some of those options might be only options that I get, I don't know. Um, but one of those options, the one at the fact the top left option is a little square box that says chat that presumably would open up your chat window. Uh, 
Someone has sent me a link that I'm not sure I'm going to have time to follow right now. Uh, Hunda sent that. Oh, Hunda, that's a nice name. I like dogs. Uh, the chat is for people who are in the hand or the hangout. It's okay, so that's, that's someone trying to help me. Um, let me try copying that link. I have to be careful here, though, because I've got like a million different links and windows open, all of which is putting my machine under a bit too much strain on top of all the streaming that it's doing. And this is when bad things start to happen. Uh, there's a link here that says the chat box is only visible to the presenter, but viewers see the showcase box. Well, that's weird. Viewers do not see the chat box. They see the showcase box, and they don't know blah, blah, blah. Uh, is there an easy fix for this? It's only, okay, so the, yeah, this is what I've been told. The chat box that you see in Hangout on air is only visible for people participating in the Hangout. That may involve you having to let Google Plus know that you're in rather than just lurking. Um, oh God, it's all kind of complicated, isn't it? So that's a thing. And what are people telling me now? We're, we're going to try and somebody want to do it over IRC. Ah, okay. I okay. Thanks very much. Um, right. I mean, that's great. Although it, you know, whether I'll be able to keep up with an IRC window um, while I'm trying to give the lecture and monitor the feeds and stuff, who the hell knows? But. Um, I've uh, I've attempted it. So, if you can hear this and you look at the link on the Facebook page, there's an IRC channel that someone has made, uh, that Honda has made, and I'm in there as well. So the two of us can have a nice time chatting. Except that I won't have time to look at any of that, but you know we'll do what we can. Um, other things, confusion, confusion. This is ah oh, God. This is not easy. Right, go back to the Hangout window. Uh, okay, so I'm going to select the person who sent me the link to the forums. Um, thanks for that. It was sort of useful, although I think it tells me that this isn't going to work very well. Um, the chat is the people in the hand. Yes, it's okay. Acknowledge. So I'm just going to select and done on that one. Great, yes, there's the IRC, lovely. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> yeah, so Audra was asking how you open the chat sidebar. Looks as if uh, not so easy, and you might have to be me or someone who's officially joined the Hangout through Google for that to be possible. I don't know if we need that. Let's just use, let's just try and use the IRC instead. Oh, God almighty. Okay. So that was a bunch of stuff that happened. Um, right. Okay, so it's nearly time to start the proper lecture. So I'm afraid um, I'm going to have to suspend this broadcast and set up a new one so we get a clean stream, which I think is maybe worth the enormous hassle that it's going to cause. Uh, and then we can maybe start doing this for real. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Uh, oh, somebody sent me a link. Okay, hold on. Ah, enabling live chat. Live chat is enabled by default and will appear to the right of the video player only when your event is active. Okay, I've tried to make that happen. Um, Live chat module only exists on the YouTube watch pages, not on embedded players. The, 
Um, I don't understand. <laughs> um, Okay, I think I think the IRC is winning, so we'll keep the IRC one running. I will try and check it from time to time. Do appreciate that when I'm actually lecturing, I have a lot of other things to think about as well, and I might um, forget stuff like that. And I've only got one small screen, so it's hard for me to multi-window my way out of all this. Um, right. Okay, I'm going to stop the broadcast now and set up a new one. Bye for now. We should be back in a few minutes.